I think the greatest thing about our district being able to name uh, our, our stadium press box and specifically one floor in that stadium uh, after these two men uh, is that they are both long-term residents of the community of Alvin. They have spent so much of their time uh, either supporting or announcing our Friday nights. I think it's only proper for us as a community to not only respect that, but to honor that. Mr. Roy Lee Powell has been a season ticket holder for Alvin High School football games for over 50 years. A veteran of both World War II and the Korean War, Mr. Powell is an Alvin High School graduate, member of the first Alvin High School band, and lifetime resident of Alvin. He said, why would somebody like me that had a hard time making a team ever be considered to be on the name of a press box? And I said, Mr. Powell, it's the old adage, it's not the size of the, of the dog in the fight, it's the size of fighting the dog. And so all those years that you might have been the last one picked, all the years that you might not have made a team, but the integrity that you have is greater and stronger than anybody that I know. And that makes you, you know, the tallest man in this community. And so now, hey, your name will be higher than anybody's name in this community because it's going to be on that press box. He was just speechless. He just didn't know what to say. In fact, he did tell me that he did not know which day was the most important to him, finding out they were naming the press box after him or earning his letter jacket. He has been a loyal yellow jacket all of his life and has instilled that in the rest of us too, uh, us and our children. All, uh, it's just humbling to, uh, to see him recognized in this way. He, he says, God must have had a reason to let me live this long. And um, I tell him, yes, Dad, you've touched many lives in this town. And a lot of people that I see that I haven't seen in a while, the first thing they do is ask me about you because you made such an impact on their lives and on the, a lot of the people in Alvin. I mean, there are very few people I think that have seen more games than I have. Uh, I give it to him in spades, that he never has missed that I can recall. He's just been a, a, a tremendous historian of the team, a backer of the team. Uh, he's a guy that makes perfect sense to me. When you talk about who are we going to name a press box after, who are we going to try to honor, well, Mr. Powell comes to my mind. I've had the same seats and I haven't asked you get football games for between 40 and 50 years. And, uh, and so to have my name up there, just, oh, I can't say anything that'll give it credit about the way I feel. I'm going from the last kid that they picked as a base, on a baseball team to my name up there right alongside Nolan Ryan. What, what's really incredible about uh, Alvin ISD is that it always gives back to those folks that give so much to the schools. And so when you have individuals like Mr. Powell and Mr. Lewis who have done so much for our schools to give back something in, in the name of a namesake, such as the press box, that's a pretty memorable thing for any family. And But it also says, you know, we appreciate all that you do for us. Mr. Bill Lewis has been the voice of Alvin ISD athletics for nearly 35 years, broadcasting with Alvin Community College. His hard work and dedication have enriched the communities of Alvin, Manville, and Shadow Creek High Schools. So I was brought in, brought in by Ron Lynch as a teacher coach and assistant head coach, and uh, that's when I had the first chance to meet Bill Lewis. And when you meet him, his personality is just incredible. Uh, he loves what he does, he loves athletics, he loves sports, he loves being around people, and, and just an incredible individual. He is truly committed to it, you know, all three of his children uh, are graduates of Alvin High School. Two played uh, a football for us here and graduated and been a part of the all-decade teams. And his daughter, uh, Samantha, uh, graduated and played tennis here for us. So he's, uh, he's one of those guys that bleeds not only burnt orange, but he bleeds all the colors here of Alvin ISD. Hey, Dad. We just wanted to let you know how proud we are of you and how grateful we are that we have you as a parent and as a role model. This dedication serves as a testament to everything you've done and how much your broadcast means to the community. 
This dedication is also a testament to the hours that you've put into each broadcast. Each Friday night is the culmination of hard work and it means so much. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. Love you, Dad. Always wanted to do communication. Uh, loved to write when I was younger. Um, loved sports and when it was clear um, couldn't play any longer, wanted to be involved in it, and so the ability to tell that story, give that visual representation of what's going out on the field, I've always loved that, and it, it seems like it's always been well received by people in the community, had a lot of people that couldn't go to the games that liked to listen to it, and, and it's just been a lot of fun, uh, a great opportunity, I think, to, you know, in some way give back. The fact that my children all went to Alvin High School and were involved in sports there. Um, you know, seeing your sons come out on the field for the first time in a varsity run through, that's a pretty special moment. Um, and even though I didn't go to Alvin, uh, I feel like I'm an honorary Yellow Jacket just from all these years. I'm honored, obviously. I, I, there's, um, I will treasure this uh, as a memory. Uh, but I was definitely surprised and shocked, and it's not anything you ever expect is going to happen.